so this Impala car stuff, man. Got a call. 59 rag. So what am I doing? I was gonna go to bed. I was about to shoot out of town to go pick up a 62. Maybe. I was gonna try the next week, but 59 rag. You guys called me and said, hey, I got one. Come get it. Now, I'm getting ready in the middle of the freaking night to take off early in the morning to go get a 59 rag. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, boy. This is part of the deal, man. He said either you come first or if you're not going to come, he's going to sell it to somebody else. So you got to be ready to take off and go. There ain't no, can you hold it for a week or two or a month? That These kind of cars, you can't do that. You have to be, all right, let me go get the money and go. Go get the money out of the bank and go. And that's exactly what your boy's doing. My trailer was not even ready to go. I'm out here wiring it in the dark because I had some problems with picking up the 65. So I'm out here wiring that thing up trying to get the winch running so i'm doing all this stuff because that guy expected me there tomorrow i have to be there and that's the deal with a lot of these convertibles i get yeah they give me first dibs because i show up and this is part of what i have to do i have to leave like right now man you guys just don't know i know it's hard to see but man out here Warren the trailer lights got this going. Ain't no game. Gearing up. Getting ready to jet out of town, man. You guys stay with us on this road trip. Alright, you two. in the middle of nowhere getting gas nowhere you see that middle of nowhere getting gas chasing this 59 rag man I've been I left early in the morning and boy the only one crazy enough to go in this space shuttle to go make this moon landing is my brother because I compare this landing on the freaking moon for the Apollo lovers so boy I know it's probably windy you guys probably can't hear guys this is my other car right here so gotta see if we're gonna make a trip up here to come grab it no motor trans
Now, like I said, I take you coast to coast to coast, baby. 59 rag. The guy wouldn't let us film at his yard, so I gotta respect it. So, like I said, I told you I know where the rags are. I told you, I told you, I told you. You ain't subscribed and you ain't commenting and liking my videos. You are missing out. And this is a positivity channel. And don't be the negative Nancy that gets blocked by me and then you'll never be able to contact me because I do do that. We will block you. We will block you. So you, you'll miss stuff like this coming out. This is a positivity channel. All for the kids and everybody. So let's show that these cars are still out there. And man, your boy's getting them back to the street one by one, baby. One by one. She's burgered one. up. She's tired, but we're tired, man. We're about to be going back home. Got the big boy, T-Rex, pulling the 59 rag, real rag, Vins, title. What else can you ask for? You can go down there by the water. Go put your toe in. Nineteen sixty-six. Last time this thing was tagged, this thing probably caught on fire, brand new. They said this thing was in the trees, in the yard, in the trees. This is how y'all want to ride off into the sunset, guys. Ride off into the sunset and man, just cruise. I hope you guys are spending time with your family and friends and man you only got one life let's try to dig these cars and get these cars back to the street and you guys go spend some time with your family and kids and eat some good barbecue and if you guys ain't doing that me and my brother have been traveling the country man great thing and we will continue to travel the country we're always going to be together and just remember man your boy Polly Chris is riding with you and nobody else is right until the end man back to the street baby keep on pushing I brought you 59 rag 59 hard top 58 60 rag 261 rags a couple 60 bubble tops what else? 62 rags. Another 62 rags. 63 rags. 64 rags. 64 SS rags. What else do you need me to do, man? We're out there pushing them. Like, comment, subscribe. Back to the street, baby. I'm about to take a nap. Man, this is your boy, and we are sitting there. We've been driving all night. We left early in the freaking morning, driving all night. It's gonna be morning again when I wake up. All right, guys, the video everybody's probably been waiting on is finally coming out. 59 Impala convertible. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Clean title and the previous owner's name. So, the VIN numbers were there. I'll tell you what happened with the story with those. But, up to date title. A real convertible. And this thing's more solid in the right spots compared to a lot of the other 59 convertibles where they usually be rotting out at. This one's got potential. So you never know who you and me at a swap meet. I'm buying some hubcats for that 62 over there at a swap meet this summer or last summer led me here to buying this. So you just never know who knows who and who knows what. But let's take a look at this thing. The inside was in a fire. 
as you can see on the doors and the, the front ends toast like the dash it don't look like it warped the dash but I wouldn't know until I go get the chrome parts so if the car doesn't sell I will get all this I've already got it all lined up I can't grab it right now no it doesn't go with the car if, if I don't have it but if I do have it it goes you know what the price adjustment is we threw away the bench seat the bench seat was toast it was jacked back seat springs are there probably need a lot of work armrest are there on both sides needs a new bow header bow the rack's still there need to see about that arm too right there if it can be repaired everything's fixable but I don't know where the pinch roll moldings are I'll probably have to clean out the car or hopefully they're in the four door hopefully but that's how the car came so hard part is really finding one of these things that are a real 59 rag because there are tons of people out there faking them which i'm not hating but some people want the real mccoy here's one here she is like you guys know i got a 61 on faking to make it look like a real rag and i had no problem saying that but i don't mind the fake cars of course they're not going to be as valuable nowhere near as valuable as the other ones the real ones that door got folded up but I'm pretty sure we it can be straightened up down here at the bottom I'm very sure I do got the original four rims also but this is originally a black car I don't know what color the inside was I never really got into it yet. Decoding everything. But definitely a black car. Quarters. The wheel housings are nice. The trunk gutter is nice. Or the ring gutter for the rag. This upper deck is solid. As you can see right there, rock gonna need some rocker work. Floor pans. six i just seen the water pump in the back so whatever else and like somebody wants me to pre-finish putting this motor back together and find all the parts i guess i could but i would put an ls or 348 in here let me see where they put the the trim tag at i don't even know for sure 59 yeah Let's see if we can get another look at this now it's kind of hard to see but I know it says 1867 on it And also, guys, uh, I get a lot of cars that have been sitting for a very long time. Very long time. And 
number one rule is you always check the VIN numbers to make sure they're on there. Uh, make sure they're dangling, not dangling or stuff like that. And every car I get, I always, always, always put tape on the VIN numbers for them on their way back. I said, this ain't my first. I know the 60 convertible I had, the VIN numbers were starting to dangle and they about fell off. This one, the VIN number, one side was already dangling off. And we can't get the doors open. Not yet, we still haven't played with it, but we haven't got the doors open yet. And I look in there, I can see the VIN number, do the door jam in here. And one side was off and I put my finger in there and barely touched it and it fell off into the bottom of this. So we spent an hour, hour and a half with some pliers and magnets and screwed, long screwdrivers trying to get this VIN number out. So eventually the long screwdriver got the VIN number out, but it fell off. So that thing, as long as, as far away as I drove to pick up this car, it wouldn't have stayed on there. It would have fell off on the trip back. So luckily I recovered the VIN number before it fell off, but it fell out of the car, but it did fall off. But always put tape, make sure your VIN number's attached, especially when you're getting a car that's been sitting in the field for a very long time. Just be safe. I'm glad the VIN number didn't get lost on the way back. It matched the title. Yeah, see, we just haven't got back here to clean this thing out yet. But, what housings? This is a real 59 convertible. The real deal. Trunk gutters are really decent shape. I mean, overall, it's not that bad. Trunk needs a little bit of minor stuff right here. But man, four doors are the same trunk. So there ain't nothing special about this trunk. Compared to 58, 58 is the one only convertible trunk, but the back but maybe we'll make some more videos of cleaning it out maybe we'll find some parts in there I'm pretty sure we will but not today yeah not today I'm not just haven't been feeling all that great guys and trying not to push myself even with the work too man it's just been I was just not the same right now so first is your health man you only live once and you don't take care of yourself you won't be around to fix up these classic cars and dig them out But one more last walk around. Try not to get the tag in the picture. This is what I went to the moon for, our moon mission. You gotta love it. Hopefully this ain't the last. So definitely my first 59, but hopefully not the last. So the only rag I haven't had yet is a 58 rag I haven't found. I done had all the good ones from 58 or 59 through 64 convertibles. And the, the cars, I done found a ton of these cars, so I'm out there. And I'll trust me, uh, there is some more cars that will be coming when I start feeling better. But don't ask me what they are. Uh, 
to like get them and stuff like that and i usually give people that buy cars first dibs anyway so they'll know first but let's get one last You know, 59s, they're high, man. They are high. Hey, guys, one last thing. I want to talk to you guys something real fast. Uh, uh, I know if you ever see my cars on an ad or Facebook or cars that you've seen on my videos or uh, previous cars here and there, and somebody's asking for money first hey it's a scam uh, I got some people that are on Facebook I'm not really on Facebook like that I'm really looking for stuff or getting questions answered if I'm on there but uh, a couple of my buddies are on there pretty good and they found people uh, out there trying to scam people with my pictures my posts um, cars from the video stopping pictures so if they if you ever think you see one of my cars on the video and then they start asking about cash first that is a scam report it try to do whatever you can to block it or get in contact with me and give me the info and i will put a stop to it because man i don't just don't want nobody to get scammed because people that usually get scammed then they just fall out of love with cars so i'm trying to prevent that to happen to somebody else so i'm just trying to keep everybody legit and honest and not using my personal stuff for uh to get gained or they sit there and try to seem like they're actually out here finding these cars because man a lot of people that buy the cars i'm out there usually finding the cars so they ain't the ones out there actually in the woods in the fields digging these things out so like i said i'm the low man on the totem pole the low man on the totem pole but the low man on the totem pole gets the upper guys their chance to do their thing and shine so just be careful scammers out there remember back to the streets and uh more videos coming soon i have some escalate video coming out and we'll probably throw some of my old videos out i got old videos out i should have been put out a long time ago but with me not feeling so great guys i know i've said it a couple times but man i gotta get back right first just gotta get back right got a lot of doctor's appointments coming up so if you haven't heard from me that's why guys i haven't fell off but peace well we're out here on the lake man yes sir yes sir Back off to Kansas City. Ready to go.